Okay, hi everybody, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. Um, I'm just uh, going to do a very quick teaser uh, demo of our one of our new little libraries that's coming out this week, and this is called the Spitfire Orchestral Grand. Um, now, this is not a uh, your usual kind of piano library where you have um, you know hundreds of dynamic layers and all that kind of stuff. The idea of this is it's a piano recorded in in context as in a film score in a uh, orchestral setting. So the idea of this piano is that it will cut through everything else. Um, there's a couple of very interesting features which we've got on here which I'll just show you. Um, the first one is it's got our usual collection of microphone positions so they're close, decatry, ambience and outriggers. You've got two little uh, things here where you can switch between a direct signal, um, all recorded through prisms, and then um, recorded through the uh, tape and then through prisms into Pro Tools. So this one um, switches you on to the tape version of the patch. Um, obviously has a different sound, uh, which we like as well, but you know. Um, so, and then when you enable the close mics, you get options here. Um, they're recorded uh, with a, a spaced pair, as usual, um, as you would probably usually record a piano. But then you obviously have the option to collapse the stereo width and to pan it into the position you want in the hall so that it will then kind of match up with the tree ambient and outriggers. So um, I'm going to disable the close mics at the moment just to play. I'm going to leave all the other mics up, just a default high setting. Other things that you might recognize from Albion um, are Pergen used, which sub keeps your memory low when you disable the mics and all that kind of stuff. Um, round robin, you can uh, pull down the, the standard round robins on this are four, but you can pull that down. And also these are a, a per key round robin, so you don't need to worry about playing a pattern of four notes and getting a kind of repeating sound. Um, we've got a round robin reset as usual. You can expand the round robins up to 12 using neighboring zones. And also we've got a control here for the releases, which you can turn down but you can also switch those off completely. So this is something which is also going to be appearing shortly in our harp library. And then the um, the uh, curves here, you can draw in your own curve. Um, there's a couple of presets, uh, whatever kind of matches your, your own keyboard and playing style best. So uh, let's see how it sounds. So I'm going to play some staccato stuff first. So you can hear you've got a really fantastic sound um, coming from the from the uh, tree and the ambient mics here. Um, if you want to do that kind of uh, really brilliant kind of, all of that stuff sounds absolutely fantastic. You've got a great bloom on the high notes, and then again you've got a great kind of power in the low notes. Although, obviously, as I said at the beginning, this is not designed to be, um, you know, one of these heavy piano libraries, you'll notice that uh, at the moment it's only using, even with all the tree ambient and outriggers, it's only using 50 meg. Um, so we've we've carefully designed this to be as system light, resource light as possible. Um, and so we've we've basically um, you'll hear that we we've set it up so that you can play softly. But again, this is not the right piano. If you want to do that kind of very very soft, closely mic'd stuff, there are loads of great pianos out there that do that kind of thing. And indeed, our own um, Spitfire Labs, we've got the soft piano in there, which is um, which is a fantastic kind of uh, simple patch for that kind of thing. And it's free, subject to a small donation to UNICEF. <laughs> so it, so you, I'll just play something that's kind of softer. So you can hear it really, even though it's very simple, very simple, it's got a fantastic kind of range of um, dynamic. So that's our next uh, little library that's coming out. We've got two coming out this week, um, and this is the first one of those. So I hope you've enjoyed having a quick look at, uh, at the Spitfire Orchestral Grand. It's a beta patch. We're still tweaking it. So um, I think it sounds great at the moment, but it's, it'll, be, uh, it'll be even better when it 
when we actually release. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.